Yes. Good evening. Uh, from a good day. I'm Shannon Murphy once again. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Sheet Metal and Associates. Uh, we're here again today at our office here in Pittsburgh, California, uh, near the Pittsburgh, beautiful Pittsburgh Marina launch facility uh, right across here. Uh, the Executive Office was founded back in 2012. Abroad in Pittsburgh, again, we were founded in Point Richmond, California, near the Richmond Yacht Club, coincidentally, at Point Richmond, California. I missed the Richmond Yacht Club uh, here. I happen to take a little walk down that way, and there's the Pittsburgh Yacht Club. Uh, we're here at a general location here, primarily to consort justice to promoting the construction of three legal clinics, uh, prospects to attend the San Francisco Bay Area. Locations have been undecided. We have one plan is Alameda County, Contra Costa County, and San Francisco County, respective. Um, here at our executive office, um, we are not open to the public. I wanted to uh, emphasize that here. Also, uh, we are here right now located at one of the units here, uh, Marina Heights Apartments. Marina Heights Apartments here uh, across from the Marina, again, launch facility. Um, right now, today at our blog version, our digest blog version here for Sheet Metal and Associates, a legal advisory and document company, I am going to uh, highlight the information uh, to the general public. All information here is true. The content has been complied valid and it has been uh, here endorsed by I, Sheet Metal Associates, Chief Executive Officer, as authentic and genuine. Uh, right now, I'm going to display some documents. Uh, these documents are confidential. They are not to be Convey to other resources without express written permission uh, from I, the Chief Executive Officer of Sheet Metal Associates, in all general jurisdictions relevant uh, by law. They comply. Uh, that does comply. That process uh, in writing uh, expressed uh, uh, for uh, the release of information here. Uh, here, I want to comment on a situation here. The defendants here, Newport Partners, are the owners of a place here in Pittsburgh, right down the street on Black Diamond. It's called uh, Sienna Quartz Apartments. Sienna Quartz Apartments, this is, I believe, a senior type of facility. I think you have to be a certain age to get in there. But I, had one morning, was coming from walking in the evening here January 17th approximately almost 8 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and I was coming from the good old neighborhood Golden Star Market the street uh, by the way I attended Golden Star did my shopping there the beautiful meat market over there and I, I attended them for the past, uh, I think I've been about at least five years before I stopped, had a discrepancy uh, subject. Their incident occurred in the uh, meat department. Coincidentally, they had some onions going on. They were chopping onions back there. And I noticed that all the customers uh, that I had viewed uh, were getting sick or had eye irritations, rubbing their eyes, and, and uh, we were tearing. Well, I got sick. I thought about the person that got in their car and was teary-eyed, and I said, what if that person gets blurred in the vision and gets caused in an accident in there and um, hurt somebody, you know, or gets hurt in progress there, and Golden Star would be responsible. That meat market here is chopping onions while their, their customers are in, 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 in patron of this store. Well, I got upset, and I contacted the management, got some very, very, very irate and disgusting. Have a response from them. But here we're highlighting Newport Partners. 
I was coming from the Golden Star Market, like I said, at 8, approximately 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on January 17th, excuse me, January 20th, 2017, when all of a sudden, um, here's the complaint here, where Newport Partners happen to be the owners, I did, or the suggested management there correspond uh, the Sienna Course apartment at 771 Black Diamond Street. Uh, we're asking for here in our suit $150,000. Of course, the events after Farmers Insurance has been implemented here uh, for request a claim jurisdiction for injury by Sheet Metal Associates. I, Sheet Metal Associates, the Chief Executive Officer, have endorsed this claim administration to their application to Farmers Insurance. Very, very rude. Uh, farmers insurance are designed, you know, insurance companies are designed to, what do you call that, evade or um, uh, disassemble the facts here uh, for their benefit and their client. Uh, uh, this was outrageous. Here he goes, a letter from, a letter here. I'm going to, I got a better, a better picture of this letter here over here. It says farmers insurance here. It says here. The insured party here, Newport Partners. It says, Dear Mr. Murphy, thank you for talking with me on May 30, 2019, and presenting your written, your, your version of the above mentioned claim. I talked with you today about our conclusions. We have carefully examined the circumstances surrounding your loss and believe that we have sufficient information at this time to make proper decisions regarding your liability claim. Please understand that our obligation as an insurer is to pay only those claims which are insured is legally responsible. So after careful consideration of the facts, our findings indicate that our insurance has no duty to respond to your demand, nor are they responsible for your injuries. Can you, ask, can you believe that? Are they responsible? Uh, I'm a soldier, United States Army, California Army National Guard, 30-year veteran, and you're going to sit up here and, and, and just ban my, uh, my uh, applications here. My indications are very, very clear and decisive in there, um, a comprehensible uh, resource by written claim. It's described the event. You stated that the accident occurred at probably 8 p.m. on January 20, 2017, when you approached the entrance of the Siena Court Senior Housing Entrance located at 771 Black Diamond Street, Pittsburgh, California. You allege that the door opened automatically and it struck the right side of your nose injured. You also sustained an injury to your hip as you were trying to jump away. I wasn't jumping away. I, was, I, I had a, a spontaneous reaction. I didn't jump. You could call it jump, but uh, I didn't jump up and down. Jump means up and down. I moved to the side. But the bottom line is these doors, these doors at Sienna Court, they not only move back and forth sliding uh, upon their, their jurisdictions, they're playing there at the wall, like sliding back and forth, you know, like the, the, the elevators, uh, do they slide across and, and go into the and, 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 and overlap the wall they're attached to? These doors actually, at 8 o'clock, I show you the evidence here. I show you the evidence about the receipts. These are the receipts I provided before claims also. They show that January, January 20, 2017, I was attending Golden Star Market here at 44 West uh, 10th Street on the, uh, at 19, 1952, which is actually military time. Of 752 at 42 seconds. I, I attended. I, I had proof that I attended that. I think I even used a card there. I don't know if I did cash or a card there. Uh, uh, anyhow, I had proof that I was there at that time. I walked up a block away. Got to get there about 8:05, 8 o'clock, 8:05 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I went to look at the apartments stained glass or their window. Or where there's information regarding the office hours and low um, jurisdiction the telephone number. Specifically, I remember the telephone number I was looking up. I wanted to inquire of their availabilities for vacancies there and their, their prospective chance, the applications, uh, criterion for becoming a, 
uh, Senate at, 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 at Siena Court. Um, nice facility, nice little outlook there. Uh, convenient location. Anyhow, I was very, very upset when, hey, all of a sudden, these doors swung. The, 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 if you're looking at Siena Court, the left door swung open. I walked to pro, well, as I got right to it, it swung open and hit me straight across, brazed my nose, my face, and slipped it. That's the shock. It's not just the impact, but the shock right there, I moved away. I was, I says, wow, wow, bam. Boom, boom, my hip, I jerked as I moved away, right as I moved away, my hip became active, a certain jerk. This is a subject, subject to a content such as a whiplash would be concerned to the neck. But my hip was aggravated, had been injured prior, um, causing problems. I, 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 I send this information, I read a written claim, and I send this information uh, days later to the CN Court Management. I got a lady named Maria in the office at that time. Uh, she says, we're going to take care of all that. I found out later, she never, she said on a root view, review of the videotape, she said she didn't see anything. I, I think when I finally got to her, took some time, they didn't promptly do it. About a week, two weeks later, um, she says, oh, I didn't see anything. And that's where it stopped. I think I, I was so busy with everything, I couldn't believe it. Well, anyhow, uh, I found out later, two years down the line, from a company called Domus Management, who actually manages the property. Domus is in out in Lodi, by the way. Um, I contact uh, Sienna Court later, while Maria, I think, was dislodged. I think she's retired or, or quit or whatever, got fired. Um, she's gone. I present my written claim again to the management there at that time. Very, very courteous management there in the office, by the way. Uh, gave me a stick of note saying here, uh, Lodi Domus Management is the managers. Um, here, send them this and that. And um, we're going to get back to your written claim to them, and we'll get back to you. Okay, and I get Domus calls me up on the phone, and they says, you know what? As a conversation, he says, hey, Maria, didn't never, I never got the claim. Um, we didn't submit it to our insurance company because we never got it. So what happened was Maria coveted, at since coveted the, compl the claim or somehow didn't get there from Maria after she said she didn't see anything. She, she didn't even process the claim. She's supposed to enter the claim regardless. So what happened? She subdued the, the, the application for the claim submission to her managers, which is the office managed on-site locations where they were, Maria, and submit that to Domus uh, in Lodi, which would have con uh, continued the process uh, lawfully uh, by rules and regulations, statutes, the city, city and state standards for there be uh, applied an injury claim by a citizen of that city, their um, location, jurisdictions there, apply an injury claim. And then uh, there to their insurance companies, um, they have to have insurance, okay, for that type of thing, premises liability. Farmers insurance, like I said, I showed you the farmers insurance uh, indications here. And um, we're going to have to um, get back with farmers. It's very, very rude. Very, very rude. We were complaining this year. Uh, these, these attorneys... Were, we, we sued them on September 17, 2019. We used our military waiver jurisdictions here to get this in because it was a little late. So I'm a soldier, like I said, 30 year veteran. We, get, we, we, we subdued the statute of limitations and, 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 and uh, attended here for the date of September, uh, uh, September 13th there. So we got sheet metal soldiers in there with a the military waiver. What you got for, 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 Written. We do this at cheap mail stations, by the way. Anyway, we're going to wind down here on that note. Time is running out. This video is uh, compliant here, 15 minutes old. But we got, we've got to go. Thank you very much. This is Sheet Metal Associates Chief Executive Officer Shannon Murphy. And we're out. Thank you.